I may have had to retire the dressing gown, but I still have my spirit. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So I lost at Fatal Fangs 3. I lost from my round two clip against Conda Kid. So congratulations to you, Conda Kid. Now if you were unaware guys, I said I'd retire my dressing gown if I lost at Fatal Fangs. So it's gone, never to be seen again. If you do see it again, it would have been a pre-recorded video. I don't think I wore it in a pre-recorded video, but if it does come up over the next few weeks, uh, it was previous to the tournament. So, because I lost, I didn't quite get to show off the rest of my Fatal Fangs clips. Um, and although they will be shown on the after parties over at Pet Rock and Roll, I would like to share them with you here too. But I don't just want to show you clip after clip. I kind of want to divide them up in each video where they're, where they're appropriate. Now my round three clip would have been a feeding clip of a Pamphobetius species, Mashala. But we don't just want to do that in today's video. No, 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 no. We'll save that for later. For now, why don't we just have a little look at all the Pamphobetius I currently own. So unfortunately, our P. ultramarinus is still in its burrow. So it burrowed down, this was an opening under this bark here. Uh, he went down, you might have seen it in a video about it, and I haven't seen it since. So that's unfortunate. However, we do have, not that one, we have a pamphlo in here, and in here. So let's get those guys out, take a look. So this one here is the mascara. Now, I need to do the water for this one. Oh, I nearly knocked my locusts off the edge. Okay. So I've got a lot of hippity hoppity locusts right now. It may well just jump out of the uh, tub. Ready? Oh, it's jumped back at me. I don't think this tea is very hung. Come here. Oh my god. Well, that one didn't want to come out and play, did it? But there's its beauty. So, although this one isn't going to come out for us today, you did get a quick look at that bum there. So let's go look at our next pampho. Wait, same pampho. Just came out, overflowed the water dish. I put one more bit in and it came out. There it is. Oh, it is quite plump, isn't it? No wonder it didn't feed. I love pamphlo slings. They're just so awesome looking, aren't they? So with the mascara back on the shelf there, let's move along. And this one is the Cascada. There it is. Oh, got it caught on the shelf. Look at that. So this one uh, molted a couple of weeks ago now. And it has taken one feed fairly recently actually. I should have uh, thought about that better. But we'll try. We'll try again and see what happens. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Got his butt in the air, look. So. Oh. I don't think it liked the hopper, that hopper. Let's give it one more go. No, not in the water dish. Oh, he's got it. Sorry, I think the lid was a bit in the way there. Get you another look at this one before we move on so there's a closer look for you so this one's about a molt ahead of the previous one so you can see its colors are a bit more popped on the abdomen 
and it has a lot more of a peachier mark than blue compared to the other one but yeah that's the cascada pretty right so i actually only have one more pamphlet to show you guys and that is the one that will be starring in today's video so let's put this one back Oh, not very neat, but I saw that in a moment. And it's this one here. This is the star, the Mashala. Let's see if we can capture a feed before I show you the clip. Okay, this is all freehand, guys. So this one is a few molts ahead. It's got quite a plump abdomen, but it isn't due to molt yet. So, we're going to try with small prey. Can't get it off the tongs. No, not there. I chose this prey because it's quite slow moving but still makes enough of a wiggle. Oh, oh. You can have it? Yes. So, there it is. A Pamphobetius species Mashala. Oh, and look at oh my god, that abdomen is way too big. Okay, no feeding for you for a while. My god, I did not realize it was that large. Woohoohoo! You plumpus. Right. Wow, that's the only Pamphos I own, I'm afraid, guys. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that Pamphobetius is a genus that I've been starting to adore. Um, I think my count for Formictopus has now overtaken my Pamphos, but I do love them both. So, I think without further ado, I'm going to show you the clip of that very same spider, but taken quite a long time ago now for Fatal Fangs 3. This clip is what you would have seen had I made it past round two. Let me know in the comments below if you liked the clip and put a thumbs up if you thought it could have potentially been a winner. Here we go. So there we have it guys, one of the clips I was most proud of for my Fatal Fangs. Um, I think it was probably my most, I don't like using the term aggressive with spiders, but probably the most aggressive clip I had, the most responsive clip that I, I had for a feeding response, I think, out of all of my Fatal Fangs ones. Although I still loved my round four, five and six, but for all different reasons. So stick around to the channel if you wanna see more videos like that, because we're gonna discuss round four, five and six as well, maybe once weekly, it depends. It depends how things flow. Uh, and for those of you that are Phasmid fans here for Project Paradise, um, there is a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes for that at the moment. I know I said May will be the month for it, and you probably haven't seen much by now. I'm not sure. Not sure what order I'm putting these videos out. Need to think about that, Sam. Um, but it is coming, I assure you. I'm building up the collection here behind the scenes. So stay tuned, you stick insect fans. Thanks for watching, everybody else. Take care. Bye-bye.